You got it, bud. Hello. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we are going to see what's inside of the world's smallest cell phone. World's smallest. That's right. Like, smallest. Like, that's a big claim right there. It is a big claim, and it's actually backed up because, I mean, at the same time, I think it's probably world's smallest functioning cell phone. Yeah. So this isn't a smartphone. It doesn't have a screen with all the different devices. This is a tiny, tiny phone. We bought this off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It was only $47. That's it. And it's a new phone as of this year. If you have it turned on and it's fully charged, it will sit on standby for eight days. That's interesting. If you have it fully charged and then you start talking on it, it will run for six hours. That's pretty impressive for this little guy. The vibrator setting, silent ringtone, 13 different styles of voice changers, 12 languages you can choose from. It's pretty impressive. It has this LED screen. How did I even find out about this phone? That's the question. I don't know. I read an article online that talked about how people were taking these phones and when they were visiting their friends or family that were in prisons or in the jails, they would take these phones and they would hide them somehow on their body and they could sneak it into the prison through the metal detectors and everything and then once they were through they could take it out and give it to them, and then the people in the prison would have a cell phone. Interesting, but right? But what would that do to the people in the prison? They would just have a way to call people, and they had their own phone in the prisons. That's crazy. So, super interesting. It's small enough to be hidden on your body to be snuck into prisons. <laughs> Once I saw that article, I was like, yes, we need to get that phone. We need to go to a place like a T-Mobile, a Verizon, an AT&T, some type of phone service network and see if they can put a SIM card in here and see if it'll work. Like maybe a mini SIM card? All right, let's take it out of the box first. Ooh, it opens up nicely. Nice. Oh. Plastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is a scene in, what is that show? Earth to Matilda. What is that show where they, those guys are um, like- Just to get like, seeing someone walk down. Hello? Hello. Look at the comparison here. We have world's smallest phone. I have the Samsung S8. Samsung S8. There's a difference right there. Look at that. This isn't even the S Plus. This is just the S8. Yeah. Look at that size difference. This is a flash drive. It is about the same size. So does this work? We're going to go on an adventure right now and go to a cell phone store and see if we can get this thing working. Let's, Let's go. go. We're on the way. We got our friend Kai back here. What's up, Kai? I'm doing good. And we've got this guy. Kai and Link Pie. And where's the phone? It's in here. I put it back in the box to be careful. Oh, no, I did it. Where is it? It's out of the box. Do you have it? No. Oh, wait. I feel something. I feel something in my pocket. It's either a USB or the world's smallest phone. Got it. Here you go, Lincoln. Hold on to that. Treat it gently. He looks just like Zoolander. Hello. Calls will be answered. <laughs> Good break. So yummy. Okay, so we're charging it. We have it plugged in. Check it out. Low batty. Bat it doesn't even have enough words, enough room for the battery. Oh, you scroll down. Scroll down, it says low battery. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting it here at the Verizon store. Um, everybody got a good laugh out of it. On the back of it, look at the instructions. Insert the iPhone 4 micro SIM, whatever in the world that is. We're just about to come out with the iPhone 10 or X or whatever they're gonna call it. Put the iPhone 4 SIM card. Yeah, let me go grab that out of my closet here. But we're at Verizon, I think they can figure it out. This is what it looks like when it's getting programmed. Has anybody ever told you your hands are huge? No, they haven't. It's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. It needs to be on this 2G network, which is something that AT&T doesn't offer and really only Verizon and T-Mobile offer. And so we couldn't get the card to work properly in there. It just, it wouldn't recognize the SIM card. And so we're just going to go to a T-Mobile store because I got to get this thing working. We got to be able to call people on it and make sure that it actually works before we take it apart. We've been at T-Mobile for like 30 minutes and I think we finally have it. We put the SIM card in and it says, welcome to T-Mobile. So she has the phone. <laughs> Get the phone from her, dial my phone number. Do you know my number? Yeah. No! What if you clicked the wrong number? Then push back. How did this go back? It's not a smartphone, but yeah, that's in the old days. We used that as the back button. It didn't work. Yeah, it, it just, erased it. Type yeah, it again, type, type it again. Um, how do you... 
Type the number. Oh no. You, you can do it, Lincoln. Uh, he's never had to suffer through not having a oh smartphone. Gosh, he's what lost. is wrong with you kids these days? Okay, we're gonna change it up here. Lincoln doesn't know how to use a phone that's not a touch screen. I know how to use this one. That most of you kids are probably the same way. This is yeah. crazy. Okay, I'm dialing my number. Okay. Five zero five. <laughs> that's all you get to know. Five zero five. Dial. I'm dialing. United States, that's what it says. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm, I'm going outside. I'm going outside. Okay, can you hear me, Lincoln? Oh, it's working. Oh my gosh. This tiny phone actually works. That's amazing. Here, it swap works. me. Hold this. I think what we need to do now is we need to call some fans. I think we'll go live on Instagram maybe and just see if some people want to give us their phone numbers and we'll just call them. Link by, that's my Instagram. Go follow it. Woohoo! Okay, let's see if we have any people that come on here. See, look. There's the camera. You guys are in the live stream. We got a number. We got a number. Okay, here we go. We're calling a fan and this is a really big fan. Hello? Are, are you there? Hi. Is it working? Hey, thanks for watching our videos. It worked, it worked, it w I'll be, we'll be honest. It was a little hard to hear the people and they had a little bit of hard time hearing us, but yeah. now we need to go home and take this thing apart. I'm curious to see how big of a battery does this phone have to have for it to function the way that it functions, so. So it's not the worst phone in the world. The thing about it, it's 99% plastic. Because of that, it should be super easy to get into. What do you like more, your S8 or this? Hmm, I wonder. We spent more for the minutes than the phone. So I think if we just hit it with this guy, mm -hmm. we'll be set. Pry it open right there. Nope. Okay, we got her. Let's open it up. Light. <laughs> okay, so somehow I killed the LED screen, but there still is a light going on right there. I better see copper wires. Well, that was not hard to get into. As I suspected, the battery is almost the entire thing. It has a pretty good battery life. Now you can see why. The battery makes up almost the entire inside of it. Jerry Rig Everything could tell you more about everything that's inside of this thing. Here's a lot of the um, chips down here. Here's where the SIM card goes in. If I understand things properly, this is the vibrator thing. This thing just spins around and that's what gives it that vibrating sensation. This is really strange. If you put your finger on the screen, put your finger on the screen for okay. like 20 seconds. Oh, oh, ouch. It's really hot. You're right. It burns my finger. Why is it so hot? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's hot. That's a good one. I didn't notice that. Uh, that's completely safe. <laughs> Just because it's only fair we did it to the Samsung Galaxy S8. We brought the lithium ion battery out here. We're going to puncture and see what happens. Um. Oh, scared me. <laughs> well, maybe it's not lithium ion. I will say this battery survives better than the Galaxy S8. <laughs> it's not even really hot. Oh, actually, it is a little hot. It's a little warm. <laughs> it's getting warmer. It's getting hotter. You wouldn't want to put that in your pocket. Yeah, that's getting hot. I don't know what you'd use it for other than to just sneak it into somewhere if you really needed a phone. This is definitely one of the smallest things that we've ever cut open. If you want one of these, we'll put a link in the description to Amazon where we purchased it, or if you just want to check it out, we'll put a link in there. <laughs> uh, everyone use this phone! Yep. Woohoo! Go for it.